That phone call knocked the last video out, but this is the last thing that I'm going to play. We've just played on them completely. They believe anything we tell them. And, uh, you know, in the meantime, we have a lot of fun around Passover where we steal the children. And, uh, you know, we, uh, uh, I know you know because I've heard it on your show before. I mean, we steal 100 to 300,000 children a year just here in this country. And we drain the blood and we mix it with the Passover bread. And then we throw the bodies into the slaughterhouses that we own. And we grind up all the bodies and the sausage and the hamburger. McDonald's is one of our favorite outlets. And uh, the people, they eat them for breakfast. They eat uh, their children for lunch. And, uh, you know, as Jews, you know, we got to uh, we gotta do what we do. The, the, the most important thing to remember between you, Pastor Wickstrom, and me, Rabbi Amy Finkelstein of New York, that we both have two fathers. And so that's why we look at the world in two different ways. And we in D.C., the Democrats and the Republicans, they sit around and we have them write up laws. We tell them what to do. They put it on the paper. We don't actually even do the work. Well, you know, as we're on the Turner Radio Network here, this is one of the only live radio networks that actually two individuals that come from two opposite parts of this planet, you, Rabbi Finkelstein, and yours truly, James Wickstrom, you know, we are on two totally opposite sides of this planet, and both of us have two totally different wants and needs and desires against one another, and yet here we are, sitting here tonight live on the Turner Radio Network, discoursing about people, discoursing about things, being honest and truthful, and in telling the truth to the masses, but you know, the, the masses have a hard time believing anything. Well, we've done a great brainwashing job on them over the centuries, and especially the last few hundred years. I, we've just brainwashed them completely. They believe anything we tell them. And, uh, you know, in the meantime, we have a lot of fun around Passover where we steal the children. And, uh, you know, we, uh, uh, I know you know because I've heard it on your show before. I mean, we steal 100 to 300,000 children a year just here in this country. And we drain the blood and we mix it with the Passover bread. And then we throw the bodies into the slaughterhouses that we own. And we grind up all the bodies and the sausage and the hamburger. McDonald's is one of our favorite outlets. And uh, the people, they eat them for breakfast. They eat uh, their children for lunch. And, uh, you know, as Jews, you know, we gotta, uh, we got to do what we do. The, the, the most important thing to remember between... You, Pastor Wickstrom, and me, Rabbi Amy Finkelstein of New York, that we both have two fathers, and so that's why we look at the world in two different ways. And we know Now, I wanted to end the video with that piece right there. Because when the Most High prophesied that because of our love for the flesh of his creation, that we would one day eat our children. We will eat our sons. We will eat our daughters. We will eat our mothers, our fathers, our grandmothers, our grandfathers. And here you have one of these powerhouse figures, one of these world people in this world that tells you that they kidnap a hundred to three hundred thousand children every year and they drain their blood and mix it with their Passover balls and the bodies they send to their slaughterhouses and they grind up the meat he said and the fast food restaurants is where they send it so they made the sausage McMuffin popular in the morning and you come in in the morning with your cup of coffee and you eat your children for breakfast and they made the hamburgers popular for lunch and you come in for lunch and dinner and you eat your children that's the that's what the bible say leviticus chapter 26 29 you shall eat thy shall eat thy sons and thy daughters so if you step on why the Messiah came to abolish the law of animal sacrifice. You see, you got one law. That is the law of love. 
Love everything that God created. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Question was asked, who is this man? He cares for all these creatures. Are they his sisters and brothers? And Jesus said unto them, yes, these are my sisters and my brothers. These animals are our sisters and our brothers because they all have life. It's born out of the same womb, which is the womb of the earth that God took everything everything that has life out of the earth. And so we have never understood these things because our parents didn't understand them and the people that walked before us didn't understand them. We have been up under the sin of our father, Adam. So don't tell me about keeping no law, keeping no statute, keeping no commandment, keeping no judgment when God didn't give you all of those things. Focus on keeping one law. That's how we do that. Focus on keeping the one law. Y'all notice how that phone bitch keep ringing? Focus on keeping the one law that your father Adam break. Because Adam didn't have all of those laws. Adam only had one law to be obedient to. He only had one. Of all the fruits of these trees, you may freely eat. But the day you eat of anything else, you shall surely die. And his eyes was darkened, and his spirit man died. And that's the one law. Throughout all of the time and all of the history of the ancestors and in the history of all of the books that have been written, there is one thing that sticks out. There was one thing that is spoken of in scripture more than anything else, and that is the eating of of the flesh, of the birds, and the beasts, and the creation. And all the times you see the abomination, it is talking about the eating of flesh and blood. Peace and blessings.